sasa walikuwa wanafikiria ati wakiandika ati wanaweza changanya sisi sisi tumewaambia watu ya hapa Nyandarwa tunasoma barua ikiwa kwa bahasha tumamaka meke there is a story which was appearing in the headlines and it was a story about president Uru Kenyatta in the gamer community and regarding Ashangwa in the gamer community and then they bring William Bruto as the man in the middle so they were saying that um, Uru Kenyatta is kind of trying to gain advantage or running with the opportunity yet regarding Ashangwa on his side is failing to achieve the objective that he has been yearning for to give William Bruto in the Mount Kenya community and so they were also trying to argue that one of the objectives that um, William Bruto mandated regarding Ashagwa to perform in Mount Kenya community is to make sure that there is proper unity. Also to make sure that leaders reason on a common ground. Mimi nimesema watu ya Mount Kenya waungane. Because unlike the people of Rift Valley, mimi nilisaidia rais na nilijaribu lakini si kufanya vile ningependa. I would have liked to do much better. I gave President William Ruto from the mountain 87%. I lost 13%. I am looking for that 13% to give William Ruto in 2027 100%. And that is the reason why most of the times you will be seeing regarding Ashagwa endeavoring to ensure that unity is a priority. When they came to government, that was his priority. So because we have been having Uru Kenyatta being one man that they have been talking about, the headlines were saying that that has given Uru Kenyatta a leveraging position to be, you know, kind of a man who is being talked about and gaining some kind of advantage in the Mount Kenya region. And by doing that, Rikati Kashuwa has not had proper time or the full realization. Juzi walikuwa meandika opinion poll at watu ya nyandarwa at ya mutaki Raisu Hili Amuruto. Ni uongo? Walikuja hapa kuuliza nyinyi maswali? Unajua hawa watu ya info truck wamefanya Raila rais maratano. Kila wakati wanaandika atashida anaanguka. Kila wakati wanaandika atashida anafanya nini? Sasa walikuwa wanafikiria ati wakiandika ati wanaweza changanya sisi. Sisi tumewaambia watu ya hapa Nyandarwa tunasoma barua ikiwa kwa bahasha. Tumamaka meke. Nyinyi muko na huyu rais wetu? Kasi anaendelea aendelee. Rais wetu tunataka kukuhakikishia. Wewe panga kazi yako. Wenye kukuchagua ni hawa. Na hawa wanajua uko na mpango na wanakuvumilia. Si ni pole pole? Una today's uh, development tour actually prove the worth of it. And also you remember he met uh, the jubilee leaders and MCs um you know and, and, and they deliberated on the way forward. Actually, he posted it and he made some serious statements. Most of the times when he meets them, he will always be banking on the kind of statement he tells the public and what he really yearns to get out of it. So in everything that is happening, the information that has reached the desk of the President William Ruto is that for the Mount Kenya community, if he doesn't make a stitch in time, then he's not going to save the nine. You know, if he doesn't get a moment to counter the moves of the opposition. And Makiu, you might have realized that one of the opposition that William Bruto is facing is the Gamma Rebellion. And the Gamma Rebellion is very key for him. And at the same time, he needs to take more effort to that region because the man that he actually fronted to make sure that his things will be flowing without any hindrance is not has not actually attended that so this meeting that they held today i want us to look into it a, a little bit and then we call it a time you know they always say that in everything uh, that happens in politics there must be objective behind it nothing just happens out of a mere coincidence so even this meeting that william Ruto had with this jubilee leaders in fact he mentioned that they were actually 120 of them all right from the jubilee and he even went and mentioned uh, the, the specific leaders like we saw uh, Sabina Shege, she is actually trending right now. And the way she came out to speak out some things, you know, she was saying that Uru Kenyatta will thank him later because of how she is aligning the Jubilee right now and what she is trying to do in the Mount Kenya region. So the, the objective, one objective of this meeting, which actually, based on the statements that they gave, is to counter what was going on before and what everybody was trying to see that Uru Kenyatta, if William Ruto still sleeps, 
slumbers a little bit, then definitely Uru Kenyatta is going to overweigh him because Uru Kenyatta has managed to even tackle regarding Ashagwa minus coming out rapidly well to do politics. Kutukitoka hapa, tuangalie mbele. Tuangalie mbele kama jubili, kwa sababu watuwezi rudi kule tulitoka sasa, we have our patron, and we know this nation excellence, even when we met, we see their challenges, mimi ni mama. Na wale umama wako hapa, munajua hata njini waze muna contribute wakati tuapata mtoto. Hakuna mtoto uzaliwa, anakimbia. A child must be allowed to go through it, to crawl, anaenda, anafanyo hile winning, anaacha kunyonya, na inaendelea. Na sindio hiyo hata kwa serikali. So we allow the government to work. I know there are many, many, many challenges. I was in the previous government, so I know even the project that we had started. Na hile maneno ingine yote ilikuwe mafanyika. So we work together, and I am a hundred percent bravery and i know your excellency and i'm convinced that when you work together with his excellency also your deputy president and your team of the mem of the executive we know this country we will go very far because rigiji has not had the opportunity to champion for the thing that william Ruto wanted so the moment he governs uh, i mean he galvanizes these leaders the moment he goes down with them and sit are down with them to forge a way forward you know that is the moment we are seeing the narrative is changing and one thing i noted that if people are not careful you know william buto is coming with a modified way of going down in the political line and i'm seeing this man is a man that um, will appear very unique the way people are thinking that people will not be receiving william Ruto because of the cost of living you know things might not be the way people really think because we are a nation that has always taken time you know we we, we don't reason enough to the extent that when we want to say enough is enough we really mean it from our intrinsic nature so i'm seeing a moment where the more people think that William Ruto is going uh, to meet the ground and is not going to align things well in the ground, you know, I think let's just watch. Let's just keep eyes on that. Perhaps, you know, time will actually vindicate. But for me, what I see, the way I was trying to study how he went to Mount Kenya, and even yesterday, remember when we were talking about, I think our video of, uh, yesterday, I really noted the kind of twisting of narrative. This man has really shifted. And the moment he will be in Kenya, okay, if he will not be prioritizing visiting other nations, <laughs> you know, left, right, center, this man is going to play relational politics. He is going to take up on it, and it's going to be one of his biggest moves. And the moment he starts it, we need to be very serious. The opposition needs to be very serious. In fact, I was looking at um, the opposition. I'm only seeing it is ODM that is coming up with... Uh, you know, program on the schedules to make stops in different counties. I'm not seeing the likes of Kalonzo Bisoka. In fact, Kalonzo Bisoka only aired his opinion when Kenyans were, you know, lamenting on the increased token rate, okay, by 16%. Right now, if you pay a token for 100, instead of getting four, you are now getting three. So you can see that. And Kalonzo Bisoka came out to air his, 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 his disappointment. And people were telling him that, you know, boss, you need to come out. Don't, don't, don't stay in that cocoon. So we, we still don't have opposition that is going to be very much stronger. So one of the objectives of this meeting is to counter what was in the first place that Uru Kenyatta has really um, denied Rigiji opportunity. And yet William Ruto was focusing on that moment that Rigiji will fulfill it solidly well. Now, the other thing, you know, running away with the, all these leaders will bring a new momentum. You know, this is politics and we are dealing with the political landscape. You will not be trying to convince me that when William Ruto with, moves with all these leaders, the grassroots leaders, when he takes them and, you know, gives them opportunity to go and convince people, you will not be telling me that, you know, people, the opposition leaving the people on their own, you know, people will try to reason on independent basis. It is never like that. We are in a political landscape and the game of politics is always based on how can you plan ahead? of your opponent. So I'm seeing a situation where the objective that they actually met to forge ahead when he met these leaders is going to come out as one where these grassroots leaders are going now to go deeper, all right? Because he met the MCS. He met the people that are really connecting with the ground. 
and 120 of them are a lot that's a good number so if you talk of a narrative that is supposed to change and to be what i always call sako kwabako with the people then i think he's really fashioning himself so this weapon that william bruto uh, was actually fashioning well you know preparing for his twisted narrative in the mount kenya region we need to realize and we need to be very careful with it otherwise this man is going to run away with the opportunity what do you think ladies and gentlemen what do you say let me let's meet next i'll see you have a great moment